Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching They Slash Them. This is a 2022 horror film that was on Peacock, and I said, why not? Why the hell not? Let's watch another horror movie, recent horror movie. This was written and directed by John Logan, and the plot. The plot is we follow a group of teenagers who go to this LGBTQ conversion camp. It's a camp that's basically trying to turn these kids back straight. <laughs> it is being held up and led up by Kevin Bacon's character, who, you know, seems like a nice guy at first, but obviously there's a lot more shit going on. And then, eventually, there is a mass killer at this camp going around and killing people. Now, what I thought of They Slash Them was... I think I'm still processing my thoughts. I did literally just get done watching it. I saw a lot of the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes uh, basically destroying this movie, tearing it apart, rants upon rants. So I fully expected when I watched this movie to hate it or to come on here and shit on it. And to be honest, I won't do that. I'm not going to rant on this movie. I'm not going to shit on this movie. And it's not because I'm, I'm afraid to do so given the subject matter or the main characters. No. If the movie sucked, I would gladly point out why. There is a big part of me that respects, <laughs> kind of, or appreciates what this movie is trying to do. Trying to make lead characters in a horror movie who are gay and because usually in traditional horror movies the gay characters are the ones who either get killed off quick or who are barely a part of the story the plot and so i was watching this and i was thinking to myself okay i see what they're doing and i see what they're going for and instead of real horror because i can't say i was ever scared throughout this entire film I was not but I understood that they were trying to maybe it's a psychological thriller right like maybe it's trying to get inside the mind of people who feel like they can convert gay people or people who think that uh, there is an easy remedy to fix them I mean I don't know I, I was trying to sit back and think, what's the point of all this, you know? Am I supposed to feel bad? Am I supposed to sympathize with these gay kids who don't feel welcomed, who feel shunned by their parents and shunned by the world, and they're being forced to act like something that they're not, or they're here under duress, they don't really want to be here? Because I did feel bad for them. It was sort of a, oh yeah, I can't relate to what they're going through, but I can certainly sympathize with it. But once you get to the end of the movie, it's just kind of like, oh, so there is no real big message here. There is no big learning point. It's just a straightforward horror movie for the most part. And that's fine. God only knows how many straightforward horror movies that have been made based off of straight characters or based off of characters that I sit back and go, oh, okay, yeah, I can just watch this and turn my brain off and have fun and not have any big sort of reaction to it. So I'm not saying the movie had to be about something. It did seem like it was trying to give off the perception that it was going to be about something. Acting-wise, I'm going to praise Kevin Bacon. I think Kevin Bacon was great. Not only was it cool to see someone like him in a horror movie like this, but just the way how he played the character, the way how at first he does come across as this nice and inviting type guy who does seem like he will be fair or he will be inclusive, only to see that no, it's a facade and there's some effed up stuff going on at this camp. I will say that a lot of the other camp uh, people, there's not a whole lot of dimension to them. They are very one note. Even some of the kids, I, I they try to give some of the 
characters, some of the teenagers, some side plots and some threads to follow through. I can't say I connected to any of them or I can't say that I truly felt like one of them in particular was more of a main character than the others. I appreciated that they casted actual gay actors or LGBT or trans actors or whatever to play these parts because that is something that everybody used to bitch about. Oh, you're not even you're not even casting real people to play whatever the characters are and they did just that. So, I, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> It's weird. I'm not praising this movie. I don't have a lot of praise for it. I think the kills are straightforward. Nothing too spectacular. Nothing too gory. Nothing too blow away. The mass killer, the the look of it isn't memorable. And once you get to the reveal, and if it's supposed to be some sort of twist, I swear I figured out who the killer was maybe 10 minutes into the movie. And like as soon as we got introduced to all the characters, I said, oh, that's probably the killer right there. And I was right! <laughs> so there's nothing about this movie that's special. There's nothing about this movie that makes me go like, oh, dude, you guys really need to see this. But if there is someone out there, if there are people who watch this and say, hey, finally, there's a character like me in there, or finally, here's a horror movie that I can enjoy on a different level, I can't take that against them, or I can't uh, pretend like I don't see that for them. I just don't think this movie's all that special. It's not horrible. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I've seen some really bottom-of-the-barrel pieces of shit horror films. Even this year, I've seen some really bad films, so I guess that's why I'm not more of a rant mode here. I'm going to give this movie our Netflix and chill. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you two saw they slash them. It probably helped that I did watch it at home and I didn't go to a theater. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.